from wire manufacturing breakthroughs to crane rental expansions and solar power innovations. Stick around to discover how these hidden gems could reshape your investment portfolio. Hello everyone, my name is Shivan Sood and you are watching another exciting edition of Noisemaker where we cut through the market noise to find you golden opportunities you won't hear about anywhere else. Today we are gonna dive into three powerhouse companies that are quietly revolutionizing their sectors. As always, this is not a buy or sell recommendation in any way, it is just a daily dose of your market insights. Let's start with Ram Ratna Wires Limited. This wire manufacturing company has made a strategic move by acquiring 60% of stake in Tefado Product Private Limited for Rs 30 crores. Tefado specializes in fabricated components with a strong presence in the renew renewable energy sector. This acquisition aligns with Ram Ratna's and India's renewable energy goals, potentially strengthening its position in the growing sectors of renewable energy and railways. The company's financials show steady growth with revenue increasing from 2,650 crores in 2023 to 2,983 crores in 2024, representing a 12.6% growth. However, investors should note that the company's EBITDA margin has remained constant at 4% since the past few years and the net profit margin has slightly increased from 1.8% to 1.9%. The stock has seen significant appreciation though, moving from Rs. 217 to 735 in just two years. Next up is Sangvi Movers Limited. The company is making strategic moves in the crane rental business. They've recently established a wholly owned subsidiary in Saudi Arabia with a proposed share capital of 1 lakh US dollars. This expansion aims to provide comprehensive crane retail services and heavy lifting solutions across the sector, including oil and gas power, construction, and infrastructure in the region. The company's financials show impressive growth with revenue increasing from 456 crores in 2023 to 619 crores in 2024. More importantly, their EBITDA margin has improved from 56% to 62% and a net profit margin has increased from 25% to 30%, indicating a strong operational efficiency. The company has seen substantial appreciation with the stock moving from 113.82 rupees to 413 rupees in just a matter of two years. Last, we have Gensol Engineering Limited. Gensol is diversifying beyond its traditional solar consulting and EPC business into electrical vehicle business. They've recently secured a significant contract for a 23 megawatt rooftop solar project plant in Dubai worth rupees 160. 86 crores, representing 19.31% of their FY24 top line. The company has shown explosive growth with revenue surging from 398 crores in 2023 to 963 crores in 2024. Their EBITDA margin has also improved significantly from 35% to 48%. The stock has reflected this growth, rising from 427 rupees to 857 rupees in just a matter of two years. With the consolidated order book of over 5,000 crores, including 3,200 crores from battery energy storage system projects, expected to generate 90 to 95 percent of their EBITDA margins, the company's future growth looks promising. However, investors should note that rapid expansion often comes with execution risks. Now let's look how our previously covered stocks have performed. Synesis Tech Limited, covered on the 11th of October at 936 rupees, is now trading at 1108 rupees, an 18.5% increase. Ganesh Green Bharat Limited, covered on the 11th of October, is at 392 rupees, is now trading at 407 rupees, a 3.8% increase. RMC Switchgear Limited, Covered on the 10th of October at 815 rupees is now trading at 859 rupees, a 5.4% increase. AVG Logistics Limited covered on the 9th of October 
at 480 rupees is now trading at 520 rupees, a 8.4 percent increase. And lastly, Arvind Smart Spaces Limited, covered on the 9th of October at 794 rupees, is now trading at 869 rupees, a 10 percent increase. Remember, small cap investing comes with significant risks and potential rewards. Always do your thorough research and maintain a diversified portfolio and never invest more than you can afford to lose. That's all for today's analysis. 